keep pushing this off because I keep um I'm putting my phone like this. So <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna show you how to add partners to walls for tags and automatically what uh the tag should show uh, based on what kind of wall it is with some information in the parameters for that wall. Currently I don't have anything right now to pass from this wall to this tag so it can show anything. Uh, I can get basic information out of that tag that comes out of the box right it. I do a W1 here, hit OK, and then as you can see it's popping in a wall pipe for me. Right? Okay, now that is part of the crucial information that we probably will need uh, at some point in time should we want to uh, share these products with someone. Anyway, so we're going to grab it. We're going to need a wall system family, uh, which we have right here. And we're also going to need a tag. Uh, you can use any tag you like, whatever one you find is to your liking, or one that you're working with. Uh, you're going to need shared parameters, which are up here. Uh, you're also going to need a project parameter. And then we're going to use a calculated value to pull this information from and get this all to work. Okay. So let's jump right into here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to start out with blank Revit file, which I did. I just went ahead and said uh, file new and then chose a project and just picked architectural and hit OK. And the reason why I did that is because it has that tag or in, and uh, several different wall types that I can kind of look at at first. All right. So go ahead and draw out a wall in a direction and then just place your tag. Okay. Uh, next, the uh, thing we want to do is we want to start uh, creating a shared parameter, okay? So the shared parameters can be accessed right here. We're going to click that right there. Now, if you have a file that you want to use, you can browse to it, grab it, and hit open, and then that's the one that you're using, okay? In this case, uh, I am using my own shared parameter file, okay? Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to create a, category, a group, uh, for your parameters. So you just go new, type in the name of your group, and it would produce this drop down for you. You might have more than one of them depending on what your parameter text file has. Next, what you want to do is you want to create a new parameter. Now, these parameters are going to need to be um, a yes no parameter. All right, so go ahead and give this thing a proper name. So I would have called this one wall underscore. And set it right. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this to a yes, no, and hit OK. In my case, I've already got my wall insulated parameter, and it would populate right here. You do it as many times as you need for as many parameters that you're looking for. Okay. So basically, we just said, okay, we're going to create these shared parameters so we can start sharing these parameters to these walls as options to pass to the tag. Okay. So you would have hit OK right there. And the next thing we want to do is we need to give this those parameters to this wall. Notice that they're still not populated right here. Now, these are in categories of constraints, structural dimensions, identity data, phasing. This is just how it organizes it. All right. So for yourself, you can pick whatever one you want. Go to your project parameters. You're going to go ahead and say add. Then here, what you're going to do is you're going to browse to your shared parameter. Make sure that that instance is checked on, by the way. And you're going to pick out your, um, you might choose graphics, okay? Um, go ahead and uh, set the walls and then browse over here to one of those shared parameters. You pick one of those guys and then it'll go ahead and, and put that in there. Then you say, okay. Now what that did is it added that one parameter to that wall. Now you keep repeating this process for each one of the parameters, okay? In my case, I've already done this. So um, I'm just, in this case, you'd hit OK on that dialog right there. So actually, it looks like I have not. Let me go ahead and do that now. So project parameters say add. And then I want to do a, uh, we'll call this one above. See here. Right here. And it's going to be, actually, I don't need to put that name in, I apologize. Uh, I just need to go ahead and choose the shared, uh, pick the category that I want, pick out the walls, and then go grab one of those shared parameters. There's that guy right there. Hit OK, and then hit OK. Now I have effectively added this 
to those wall families. Now I'm going to do this two more times because I've got two more of those uh, to go. All right. Grab that guy and then come down. Grab my walls. All righty. Good. Hit OK. Now I've got a second one. Do this one more time. And categorize this one again. Make sure I'm adding it to walls. Get my last one there. Hit OK. Now, if you were to accidentally pick the wrong one and you ended up putting two of those in there, then um, it would go ahead and tell you, hey, you've already got it in here. Okay. Uh, I do have an extra one in here that's called Occupant. This came with this file. Move it because it's just confusing to look at. All right. You don't need to select anything here. Just hit OK. So now if you select any wall or create any wall, notice here in the graphics category, you now have these three parameters that are shared that we can go ahead and access um, to start doing things with, all right? So let me see here. Uh, next, what, you, what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and edit uh, the tag family so we can start tying in those parameters to it. So let's go ahead and just hit edit family real quick and have a look at what is here. Now, these were created ahead of time before me. The, this particular family, uh, someone had already had this first. So um, they've got three individual labels. How can I tell if it's a label instead of text? Well, this edit label shows up telling me that this is a label here. And if I look at that one, that's a label also, meaning that they're smart and they can grab parameters and do things with them, all right? So I wanna take a look here at the types. So these are the different types and these are the letters that are necessary and what they actually are standing for. Um, these were actually pre-created as well. However, we won't need all these types. We only need the one type and then we can remove all these and get rid of those or just simply ignore them and make sure we have just the one type. So probably it would be best if I did this now. Um, go ahead and just delete. I'll leave the standard one in there as my base. that one and get rid of that one okay because i'm not going to be using types to uh, show my tag what to do all right that's kind of a um a way of using visibility but we're going to use if statements in order to get this thing to pull what we're looking for all right so once you clear out all those types then um you can get rid of these two that's not necessary that's not what we're actually using to make this work okay so I'm going to hit OK. And so the next thing I'm going to do is if I did not have any of these labels here, then what I'd want to do is go create and go to label and click. And then what I would need to do is add in each one of those shared parameters to this family. It's called wall tag, right? Because it can't actually get those tags unless I add them in, right? So if you can look here, Mine show all three because I have loaded these in ahead of time, so you're able to actually see these here. But uh, in your case, you wouldn't have them. So what you'd want to do then is go to New, Select, and grab and pull each one of these in at a time. Say OK, and then they become a part of this list. And this thing is sorting alphabetically, so that's why these are at the top and these guys are at the bottom because of my name. All right, so I can now just start working with my calculated values, all right? So let me see here. All right, so to find your calculated values, they're right here, you start it right here, and you're gonna give it an appropriate name. Uh, let me see here, one second. Yeah, give it an appropriate name, okay? So in this case, we'll just say, um, <laughs> Uh, you know what, actually, let's, let's work with the non extended ones. I'm just saying, remember those uh, parameters we have over here with our, their names? I'm going to kind of make those relevant. Matter of fact, let's just hit capital here real quick. I'm going to delete these guys out. I'm just going to start with new ones. Great. Uh, let's go here first. I want that name here. I'm just going to control C, copy, to my clipboard, put a label, place it. And then I've already got in my, um, what do I? Okay, I do not have those shared parameters loaded in. All right, so let me go do that. 
say okay, say okay. Now it's in the list. I need to do this two more times because I plan on using three of these. Okay, do that again, do that again. All right, now I've got all three in this list. All right, so now we can do this. And I'm going to give it that name right there. And then I'm going to want to put this guy under the text because I'm going to have it uh, produce text when I'm done. All right. So now the if statement. If statement is uh, I need if to begin it, and then I add the shared parameter that I created earlier that's tied to a checkbox on the walls category. So if the wall inside the parameter what we're testing. If true, then check mark then or check, check mark box on the wall category. So the pipe has to be text right here. Yeah. And then you type in your formula. So if that's a uh, lowercase actually, if uh, open parenthesis. Uh, the parameter that I created was called wall underscore insulated is true, then assign it the letter N. If not, then space bar, space bar, and then bracket it. And that means basically is that do nothing, be blank. Hit OK, and if we got it right, it will accept it and it puts it in there. And then we have a parameter and hit OK. Now we have a parameter in here for that. And this is what you're seeing here is this line inside of the wall. And the little game is a sample value. So um, I think what I might do is just to let the race and just leave the end in there for my purposes. It just simply tells me where I am as I work. Now, um, the save some power, you can control C, control V and uh, paste in then go ahead and edit this other one here so let me make the next one's name here and i guess control c this b for above ceiling and you go into this one edit its label and change that one to b and then um, i'm going to select right here and edit and then change this thing over and then i'm also going to put b here and then go ahead and change this one's information. Now, I got the wrong one in there for the moment. Um, let's see here. Select those parameters again. Uh, so the wall insulated, we already did that one. So wall to ceiling, I think is what we're doing now. Let me be sure. Sure. Uh, the naming doesn't matter. You, you'll, you'll know which one you want, right? So uh, wall to ceiling is the parameter name there. Um, I've already done wall insulated, so wall to ceiling. That's what's going to go right here. All right. So change, erase this out, and make it look exactly as the other one. All right, and letter B is where it will show up. And if it's right, it's going to accept this. All right. In this case, it did. Now I'm going to control C, control V uh, again, because I need one more. Edit that label. And this one's going to be a C. And then we're going to change the name of this one. Let's add in that last one, which is above ceiling, right? Say OK. So the above ceiling wall. Did we do this one already? Say OK. Have yeah, a look at this one. Above ceiling wall. OK, so edit an insulated wall. All right, so. Let's go back and rename this one appropriately, which should say uh, wall underscore insulated. Or is that true? That's the non-insulated. All right, so there's just a little bit of naming conventions here mix up. So um, ceiling to wall is C, non-insulated is, uh, I just want to kind of keep these and these naming here for each one of these labels. So. Uh, in non insulated wall. B should say this one. Control C. Into there, edit the label. This should be edited and called that above ceiling. And OK. And then the C 
is this is what was here. So cancel, hit black eye, edit the label, edit that. There we go. Then switch out to this C right here. And then this is going to be the correct name uh, for the other parameter. So let me look at its name really fast. So I think it's wall to ceiling is, is the parameter we actually need in here. Okay. So your naming is very, very important. Make sure that um, you have taken the time to name things where they make sense. This wall to ceiling I think is wrong. I want to say that one is supposed to be now, wall to ceiling. This is the above. So this is the above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so add in the above ceiling wall. That's all one word. So edit. Go here. And go here. And this one's going to say above ceiling wall. If I get this one, it will fail. Yeah. So that is not the correct name. Uh, where to go? Huh. It's not in here. All right. There's the one we want. Above ceiling wall. All right. So okay. Now it's there. Now let me use it. Uh, sorry. Above ceiling wall. All right. And so the above ceiling wall is going to produce a B. All right. This one should produce a C right here when we use that. Very good. And then the N should produce an N when it's check marked. All right, very good. N and N and then different. Okay, great. All of our tags are there. I'm going to go ahead and overlap this guy with that one because it doesn't matter. It's going to know when to look at something. So in this case now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save uh, this as a new family. I'm going to browse to my location. And I'm going to just call this demo for now. Okay. Hit save. And you know what? Let's do some create here while we're here. Uh, I do not need these, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete these. I don't know what this quarter is getting, but uh, it looks new for now. And I'm loaded in and I'll write the changes that I have before. Here's the tag that I'm bringing in. I believe that is the one. And so I need to pick some stuff here to be on. In this case, I've turned every single thing on. Okay. So that's why you're seeing everything at the moment. So if I copy it over this wall, uh, maybe a couple times, even though uh, TG is a shortcut for tag, right? All right, so let's make this where we can tell what the heck we're looking at here a little bit and move that up. Okay, so this one, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck two of those. As you can see, that works beautifully. I'm going to go over here and uncheck these two, and you can see that works beautifully. And then I'm going to come to this wall and uncheck these. And as you can see, that works beautifully. And if I were to go ahead and just simply copy these up, and we just didn't care to have anything in that tag show up at all, we just uncheck everything. And so we just kind of like that. And there's your, all your differences there. OK. So um, that helps everybody. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or contact me.